What's up guys and welcome back to the Guitar Watch. Super short, super effective guitar workouts to make sure you never stop improving. Today's exercise is one I learned from one of my heroes, Steve Vai. It's perfect for developing alternate picking speed and clarity, as well as general dexterity and left hand control. This exercise is an uncommon variation of the standard 1-2-3-4 exercise featured in episode 3 of the Guitar Watch. Other variations of this exercise have been featured in episode 7, where we used it to improve our hammer-on technique, episode 8, where we used it to improve our pull-off technique, and episode 15, where we used it to improve our alternate picking technique. Check out episode 3 and 15 in particular for a more in-depth explanation of why I like these exercises so much. As I pointed out in those workouts, I'm a big fan of using these short, non-scalar patterns for technique improvement. Exercises like this are particularly effective because they require you to focus on fewer things. That allows you to have laser-like focus on the one or two aspects that you're really trying to improve and to make quick, efficient gains. This particular variation from Steve Vai is really good for those of you who might have almost mastered the 1, 2, 3, 4, or 4, 3, 2, 1 variations. Even if you can play those blazingly fast, you're going to have to slow down and build back up with this one. That should be really exciting to you. You see, anytime you find an exercise that you suck at, it just means you have that much more room for improvement. But if you can go from 200 to 204 BPM on the 1, 2, 3, 4 basic version, or you can go from 80 BPM to 200 BPM with this one, that's exciting. Not only will that improvement transfer more into your playing than the extra 4 BPM you could get on the original one, but it'll also be a heck of a lot more rewarding to watch that BPM grow so much. So here's Steve Vai's variation of the 1, 2, 3, 4 exercise, what I'm going to call the 2, 3, 4, 1 exercise, demonstrated at a fast tempo. Let's break that down. So the easiest way to think about this exercise is to view it as a four note pattern, one, two, three, four. But we're just gonna rotate which finger we start with as we move across the strings. So we're gonna start with the first finger. And we're gonna go down to the next string and start with the second finger. And we're gonna go down a string and start with the third finger. Then we're gonna go down a string and start with the fourth finger. Now we start back at the first. And we move all the way up to the fifth fret and back down in this manner. I'll demonstrate a couple lines slowly. Etc. Steve Vai was one of my very biggest inspirations when I first started getting serious about playing guitar. So if you're a Steve Vai fan, let me know in the comments below and let's talk about it. Like always, if you have any comments, questions, feedback, or topics you'd like covered in future workouts, let me know in the comments below this video or by emailing me directly at theguitarwatt at gmail.com. If you like what I'm doing here and want to help support the Guitar Watt project, then liking this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel would be huge. But the single best thing you could do would be to go to theguitarwatt.com and to subscribe to the email list. That way, you never miss a workout, and I can keep you in touch with any of the future projects going on at the WAD. Thanks.